Arthur Moore loves to garden. He spends much of his time in his Milwaukee backyard tending to his plants. Besides the lavender and lilies, Arthur has something new sprouting in the backyard. Something really big. I guess you could call it a sunflower. We're going to harvest some sun power. <laughs> sure, most solar arrays go on the roof. But that wasn't going to work here. The trees are too big. The roof is too shaded to capture the sun's rays. That wasn't going to stop Arthur, though, because he's noticed something about the environment as he's been digging in the garden for the last 20 years, something that was bothering both him and his wife, Meg. Uh, climate change was a big deal, and uh, it just seemed like there was nothing going on on a large scale, so we felt like we had to do something. We had the extra dough to do it. A little dough goes a long way. You see, 30% of the cost of the system is already paid for by federal incentives. After state and local rebates and incentives kick in, they figure the system will pay for itself in about 10 years. After that, all the electricity it produces is gravy. Think about what you're doing. You're insulating yourself against the future cost of utilities, right? And so here's Arthur and Meg about to, you know, they're in retirement age. They, don't, they have to protect themselves from that as well. And so this kind of meets all of that criteria for them, and it's a great fit. Even on a gray, mucky, muddy day like today, this system will still produce a little bit of electricity. Right now, they're just looking forward to turning the whole thing on. Oh, oh very, heavens, very yeah. excited. My yeah. son's coming over in about 10 minutes to come see it. <laughs> yeah, very I excited. To, I want to watch very the excited. meter on the sunny yeah. days and see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> Arthur and Meg hope to spread the gospel according to solar to their neighbors. It's really a win-win situation. Even the Neil Kelly Home Performance Crew got something special out of the job. We've had lots of garden conversations. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Tourists to the what garden. are those? What's this? <laughs> yes, yeah. How do you grow that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Is that a weed or a flower? Right. <laughs> One of those red plastic things out there. Yeah, oh, yeah. What okay. are those red plastic things? <laughs> they're, out there? Uh, they're like uh, portable, water filled greenhouses for tomatoes. See, you learn something new every day. And what a lot of Northwesterners are learning is that solar is a sustainable part of our future.